Good afternoon. Um, we will open the Lake Auburn Watershed Protection, Watershed Protection Commission meeting. Welcome. Um, our illustrious leader is unable to attend, so you're stuck with me. I'm the Vice Chair Rick LaChapelle. Uh, so we will move things along because we have hard, we have to be out at a certain time. Um, on the agenda, um, agenda Steve is not here. Yes, 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 Steve. I'm sorry, Steve. I've never met you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met you, yes. so either. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, so I'm, this is Steve. Steve but, and um, yes, so with that, we want to recognize Steve, and we're going to turn this over to um, Erica. Yeah, Steve, and, you want to come up? I'll take a picture. Oh, yes. perfect. <laughs> perfect. You ready to go the flag there? Oh, nice. Yeah. It'll be a good photo op. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Hi there. I almost ready to know what I did. You had your chance. <laughs> <laughs> coming in hot. So, Steve, the board of the commission wanted to present you with an award of recognition for all of your time served in the Lake Auburn Watershed Protection Commission. Thank you for being here. Um, and thank you for your service to the community. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
um, which she will be shortly uh, stepping down from this position or opening up for the commission to um, elect or appoint another treasurer uh, for the commission. So that's that's coming on the agenda shortly. She has enough things that one less meeting is not going to be bad for her. Um, so there we go. Staff reports. We're done there. Um, classes. Old business. Adoption of Robert Rules of Order. I would um, entertain a motion to adopt Robert's Rules of Order as the Rules of Order for Conducting Business in the, for the Watershed. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Is there a motion for that? And then we can open up the discussion if we're following Robert's Rules. So moved. Mary Ann, second. Dan. Uh, discussion. Can we get a copy of uh, uh, Commissioner Sears' work on putting together a document to date? Because um, he's actually did a lot of work on that um, last year. Sure. On a charter? Well, that's going to be different. different. Oh, that's going to be, be totally different. It's just this is just adopting Robert's oh, okay. order. So we're going to adopt the latest version. I think it's 12 or something like that. Yes, sir. I have no issue with it. However, it can be extremely complex yeah. if you actually adopt Robert's rules at an addition. And some people would be able to tie this commission into not and get nothing done by simply using that book. So we won't say addition, yeah. which is going oh, to be a very loose practice. We, we the can do general practice. General practice. Yeah. We can Modify. adhere it as strictly as we want and lean it. But this, you know, the motion seconds and all that good stuff. So yes. we actually had a workshop on Robert's Rules that Marianne and um, Kevin Gagne from Lewis and Water mm -hmm. presented to us that kind of outlined, you were, you were all here for that, yeah. right? Kind of outlined Robert's Rules and we sort of had a discussion yeah. about the things we wanted and the things we didn't want. Mm -hmm. So we really, I think I'd like to revisit that versus mm -hmm. just adopting it as it is mm -hmm. stated here for just Robert's Rules. And revisit the presentation that you had prepared. It's kind of in simple form. Yeah, and it was a simplified format where we kind of laid out what we were looking for in there. So. And I do remember I typing that. into the minutes all yeah. the all the important items mm -hmm. that the commissioner said we want that we want this. Yeah. That's all in your minutes okay. from I a past reading. I have your presentation in my office. If you want me to grab it. <laughs> but I didn't grab the binder because I rushed yeah. it. So then. I'll bring that. Oh, yeah. We can we can a motion table it until our next meeting. I think so. Just table the presentation back. Okay. Yes. Summary could be prepared for. Correct. Yeah. So right. we'll just table this to yeah. our September meeting, and so we can have be prepared with the summary and then just receive it from there. So. So moved. Second, second. Mm -hmm. for Camille. All those in favor? Opposed? Seven zero. So we no no longer have to deal with the first one. So excellent. We'll be out of here at four o'clock. So. <laughs> okay. um, a discussion of law pack bylaws, uh, possible creation of a subcommittee. I guess I would, um, and this is um, this is from uh, our illustrious chairperson. Uh, he suggested that uh, three members be chosen the chair, by the chair and vice chair, and, are, and they are authorized to work with Jim Pross. Pross to develop and draft a set of bylaws that will be presented to the rest of the commissioners to, uh, to begin discussion and additions um, and edits, excuse me, no later than September meeting. Um, so it's difficult to get eight, nine people in the room and start talking about bylaws. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently our attorney has worked on it. That's what you were alluding to, I believe, earlier. That um, Jim was yeah. talking. Yeah. So it's it just uh, Evan suggested that um, we appoint three people um, that be willing to work it, and then come back to the commission uh, with their suggestions. Would that mean the June fifteenth date doesn't apply to us? Because this is the bylaws. bylaws. Isn't that the bylaws? No, nope. this is the bylaws of the commission, not the bylaws for the protection of Lake Auburn. So this no, is the, the this is our, our commission. Our own. Oh, our commission. own. Okay, yes. Gotcha. Sorry. Robert's rules and then our bylaws. That's it. Just operating procedures. This is more yeah. house cleaning stuff. Right. 
So if everybody's in agreement to that, I would entertain a motion that we so move in that direction. So moved. Camille's so first. Our subcommittee. Okay. Is there a second? Sure. Second. second. Glenn? Discussion or concerns? My only concern would be that nothing against our process, one of our attorneys, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So. And they've been working on this for a while, my understanding. Right. I just don't think it would take a couple hundred bucks an hour. So let's get something done to review it, right. yeah. not work with him to create it. He's already created half of it already. So this is my understanding. A lot of this is created um, similar to what the Roberts rules, they, okay. so they've been working on this. I think you can start with. Sure. Correct. Any other discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous. Do we have to pick this three people? The chair, the chair and the vice chair. chair. So we'll pick okay. three people. Um, that's from Evan. I'm uh, guessing that if you want to volunteer, they should No, you. no, I hate that stuff. <laughs> Anything fun, I'll do. <laughs> uh, peer review update on the Garsland property. Camille. I, I have no update uh, unless Erica does. I mean, we, their timeline was mid June, so yep. we, I assume they're working on the work, and uh, we should hear something in another week or two. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry. Yeah. Um, the uh, contract that I signed with CDM Smith to do that review said they will provide a draft memo to the commission by June 17th, 2022, and final within two weeks of the commission's comments. So that's coming up next week. So who's going to receive the report? Does it come into you or? Yes, it will come to me and then. Everybody else, yeah, then. You can distribute it. Exactly. Yeah, so they can go out to all the commissioners. Exactly. Ahead of time, mm -hmm. exactly, and immediately. As soon as I get it, I'll forward it to everybody. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Okay. New business. The trail project on the Pack property. Erica. Yes, yeah, so I included some information on this in my report. So, in the watershed report bulleted out, um, number six was my description of that. So, Carolyn um, has working has been working with Will Libby. He's a local trail builder. He owns Evergreen Outdoor Education um, to work on developing a trail on commission-owned land. It's next to the Tot Lot. So, if you're familiar with the Tot Lot property, that city property, just south of that is commission property. And this came up over the past year with the City of Auburn, um, their Rec Advisory Board was interested in revitalizing Tot Lot. They reached out to us, myself and Carolyn, um, about having a trail on commission property that people could use while they're at Tot Lot. It would you know, kind of connect and they're limited in their acreage there that's actually city owned and so they do want to revitalize the Tot Lot itself. I mean, upgrade the playground, that, that kind of thing. They've got plans for it. But they also were wondering if we could work with them to have a trail come around on the property that we own um, so anybody who's there could use that. So we've been working on that. Um, Carolyn worked with Will and a group of Edward Little High School students to go out and start making the trail um, with the intention to continue it and it can be an educational site. We've talked with the City of Auburn about outdoor education classrooms being there so you have different stops along the trail there's a small stream that goes through there there's an upland area so you can bring kids out there do lessons they're in nature that kind of outdoor education type of thing so but the reason I have that on the agenda is there is a grant available it's the recreational trails program grant it's from the state of Maine but it's actually federal funds it's through the highway department I believe um, and one of, their, one of their requirements is that um, if the property is owned by either municipality or local board, um, yeah, so that I receive board approval to apply for the funds. So it's a $50,000 grant, uh, up to $50,000 for 80% of a project cost. And again, this is very preliminary. This is one of the first items that I wanted to bring up to you is... Um, approval to just apply for the grant. Once I have 
all of the details. It's due in the end of September, the application. Of course, I would share that with you at our September meeting. So you have more details, you know, trail length, trail structure, mm -hmm. all of that fun stuff. Who will be maintaining it? Who is going to be working on it? Um, but that's just one of the, the first things on the, the grant checklist is, you know, four months ahead of time, something like that. Make sure you have approval to, to even go forward and apply. So that's my request to the board is just their approval to apply for those grant funds. And the project start date is usually in March of the following year. So it wouldn't be until next spring. So moved. Mm -hmm. Second. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, given Eric our approval to move forward on that. So apply. Right. Uh, discussion? I have uh, uh, just a uh, couple questions. Um, I, I know um, one of the recommendations in the FB environmental study that was done in conjunction with UMO is that Lopic trails could have permanent uh, recreational and conservation easements. If that's something um, that this commission can bring up on a future agenda item, they can put that in the RTP applications. I've been through two of those application process, one with Perkins Ridge Snow Travels, the other one with the community center, Lake Loudoun Washington Neighbors Association. They love when they know things are protected, even if it's just 20 years, you know? If someone, if we can't sign off on a perpetual easement, um, but something like that, um, so I don't know if a friendly amendment would be to, to take that recommendation um, from the city of Auburn and to make this first trail um, some sort of easement. Um, I would love to see that just done right now. I'd like to see what the plan is before I would agree. Okay, that's fine. Isn't it conserved land already? That, yes, yeah, so that's owned by the so as owned by the commission. Right. Well, that that well, was well, my question. Can, is commission can sell it. Whereas if you put a perpetual um, easement onto it, so what, I'm gonna say we would. So my understanding is, if it was purchased for protection of drinking water quality, you can't just sell it. So it, it, it goes under the utility it's a law. Process. It's a process. Yeah. But it can be done. Yeah. yeah. This would, even if it was sold, yeah. protect. And the city of Auburn would have first right of refusal okay. on that piece of property because it's in that municipality. But being proactive um, with both the current watershed master plan and, and the FB environmental study, um, this board has the capability um, to, to say, hey, yeah, we're going to put easement on these trails. Whitman Spring Road, perfect example. Mm -hmm. So. So, a little bit off topic. Who was the person that reached out to you to apply for this, or the entity? Oh, nobody reached out to me to apply to it. So I just a grant. Oh, okay. I thought yep. you heard, I heard Will's name. Then, oh, yeah. No, we've been working with him, um, okay. just on starting to initially develop it. Yeah. So Will Libby, it's Evergreen Outdoor. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The students have been helping to try to clear yep. some of yep. the yeah, first phase. Yeah, we had Edward Little High School. They had a volunteer day. Yeah. They worked with us. So. I'm not sure if we qualified, but the city of Auburn currently has a nonprofit grant of ten thousand dollars for youth activities outdoors. Okay, there we go. So Matt, so city of Auburn so. youth activities outdoors. So you can use it for that. Yeah. Right, and that's obviously encouraged. That's one of the things that was talked about in this grant workshop. You know, if you have other match, especially local match, it's huge. Yeah, another guy who approves these ones. Well <laughs> Thank you. So, yes, I, I just I thought, had a question. Maybe Dan knows the answer. Um, when you put a, a conservation easement on a trail, I assume that is requires some legal uh, cost. I don't think we call it the conservation easement because those have to be tracked every year and they have to be inventoried. I know Eric could speak yeah. on that. Um, uh -huh. But a recreational easement, um, you know, 20 foot wide, meandering, whatever, you don't actually have to have it surveyed. Uh -huh. um, we have language like that now for, we just did it for Merrick's Way that takes you down to the Whitman Spring Road. Um, that's been per perpetually uh, conserved, uh, including the, um, the trail alongside the community center. So that's another access point. So, yeah. Um, Is it within the deed? It's it's a deed, yeah. It's an so actual it's deed. The deed. Yeah. Okay. And Jim Cross was one that did ours, so okay. he's very familiar with how to do a trail um, recreational deed. Okay, thank yeah. you. I just call a point of order. It's really hard to. We're, we got a motion and a second to approve an application. I know we're off on a little okay. tangent. This is all great discussions, but it's yeah. hard to do to go off on all these and keep these as part of the discussion for the that original motion. So I will rein it in. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Would warn me about this. Thank you. So, I, so my suggestion before we go off on the on the trail, uh, excuse the pun, uh, 
to grant that easement, I think, let's apply for the grant yeah. to get the grant mm -hmm. yeah. and then mm -hmm. talk about it once we get the grant. Yeah. So, yeah. how about we vote at this point? All those in favor? Opposed? Passed unanimous. Much better. What an agreeable group tonight. There we go. Well, those guys want to add to this agenda. <laughs> Now we get into I an interesting one. Closer. Okay, new business. Request by AWD for public comment on revised bylaws for the protection of Lake Auburn. Uh, so, this opens it up to discussion from the commissioners. Um, is this something that we want to write out a response? Is this something that we want to send to somebody uh, for Auburn Water District. Um, my understanding that, oh, hold on here. There, Do you have the latest draft? We do, we have, do have a latest draft. But um, the commission hasn't seen it at I, this point. I emailed all the commissioners with the uh, right. stakeholders request letter, the draft that was distributed with that. And I also sent along uh, staff comments from Internally within the district, um, yeah, on Sid's, those Sid's drafts, and yeah, Sid and, then, and Erica and mine, yeah, Kevin's. Okay. Right. And then we received comments in red that you hadn't responded back on, to, so we went back to that list that you had. Oh, yeah. And and added some comments in around the red, or I did anyway with Kevin and Correct. just trying to understand it a little bit. I know there's a, a couple of key pieces in here that not just the logistics of this wording or that wording, but. Um, so I guess um, I'd like to open it up for discussion at this point and say, how do we want to proceed? Should we just start going down point by point and discussing this? This is probably going to take up a little bit of time. Uh, or do we feel that we should be... Um, well, I think it's our responsibility as commissioners to respond to this and to make some kind of a comment. Thank you. Thank you. And to make... Well, I was just thinking that we, you know we had some reviews that we can go down through, and that kind of goes through the document. At least it gives it an orderly fashion, you know, fashion. Mm -hmm. um, so I did make copies of the one with the notes that we had, and people can add in between. But at least it would be, yeah, that's that's one we want to add. Like because whoever even is writing this up, mm -hmm. we'll be able to follow it. So I, I did make copies. If that's helpful. Would anybody like copies of? I mean, this was just added to what um, Kevin and Sid and Mike and Erica had put together, and then it was just added to um, for the red comments that were added later. And you can tell some of it's just minutia, but there is some important ones, like the, the, which map, one? the map. Yeah, which ones? The ones with more of a wording in it. Uh, you got this right? right? Yes, thank you. I don't know. It's a place to start, and it's orderly. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Thank you. So, following, um, I guess I, this is Sid's. This is the city of Lewiston, Kevin's. It incorporates Sid's. So, it incorporates Sid's. It does incorporate Sid's. Yep. Yep. So, just following it down, and just so it's not looking like one's agreeing and the other one's disagreeing. Um, they're saying page two, uh, sorry, sorry, so if we review this, you're saying it includes all of this? No. Yes. The additional, okay, mm -hmm. so we can kind of, you can move SIDS away. Yeah, and I just, I the just, only thing I saw was this, this next question time that I don't see on here, that although the trustees voted to adopt the revised watershed boundary map at their monthly meeting on 420, they may want to reconsider this vote pending the ongoing litigation. I don't know what that has to do with the bylaw. Yeah, I guess. So I that, that, it was a comment that. That was SIDS or, or? Yeah, that was in the memo mm -hmm. from SIDS. Mm -hmm. Prior, it's the last item in here mm -hmm. prior to the comments that start with that, Don't two. the bylaws reference the map? The map, map? Is, the map is key. That's one of the big pieces. Yeah, right. Exactly. But, well, that's why I'm trying to. Oh, so it's just kind of a comment. Yeah. To reconsider it based on. So why don't we move forward and just go down um, 
there are these comments, and this is a combination of Sid and Kevin. Uh, page one, so page excuse one, me, no page, page one, no changes, page two, um, uh, second paragraph, uh, have one, two, three, four, four lines down, and blue, and maintain as long as necessary. They're saying eliminate as long as necessary. Eliminate. Um, Can I just uh, point of order? Um, yeah, just a question. Why don't these are from the city of Lewiston, right? No. And they were put together by. That's that Kevin? is that is from a combination of Sid's report right. and Kevin's report. We're yeah, accepting. Yeah. We're accepting um, right. recommendations. And revisions until so June fifteenth. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm saying at the water. I got my water district hat on. Yeah. Okay. So why don't they just submit these? Because that's all we're asking for is written comments by the fifteenth. Why doesn't LawPEC provide their own comments aside from this document? What do we agree? Or I think it, I think that. Marianne was suggesting that that would be a way for the water for this commission to do that. Mm. Walk just, through these suggestions okay. with this. Mm -hmm. As a way for us to then right. provide additional. Because I mean, I'm going to take this copy and I'm going to submit it yeah. to the Auburn Water District meeting um, in three weeks from now. Mm -hmm. Because this, I mean, this is clearly revisions for the POLA. So I mean, you can make changes to this, but and this is still a, a valid document from the city of Lewiston. Right. So we, this would still be submitted, and then there may be another one. Yeah. Okay. So it, it is added to this. Then it would be yeah. added, yeah. Okay. added, right added to this, rather right. than reiterating what you're already saying. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Because it might be like I, I don't think we need to comment on like keep the unnecessary out unless it, it changes the scope of that whole sentence. You know what I mean? If it changes the intent of that whole sentence, it, it's one that we may want to focus on to see which ones are important, not to be, not to be rewritten exactly the same. You know? Right. It, is it possible for me to get a copy of this? Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. Which one do you need to buy? The, yeah, the, I can. The revised bylaw. Yeah, so it was so so Mike and sent it to you on that date. Well, I yeah, I, 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 I can't, can't find it. it. I can't get it into okay. my email okay. or so anything. So how many of you it? I'll go copy it right now. Yeah, so Three. You so, want just the red line version. Yeah. While we have, while yeah, she's getting copies, reason. why don't we take a moment and just scan this yeah. Yeah. Com combined. Sure. And just look at it, and if something jumps out at us, we you know, we can start going back and forth in pages. Mm -hmm. You're right. I, it, taking time to get rid of the long yeah. as and yeah. potential, uh, yeah, potential. Anybody else wants a fresh copy besides Camille on the uh, the three things that Mike had sent out? It was sure. May 20th. Yeah.
once you're ready, we can proceed. Give you guys a moment to look over. Yeah, it's not it's removing it. Yeah. Agree. Not saying not to do it, just uh, shouldn't be in bylaws. Yeah. So the two of the biggest ones, Mary and I, what you probably heard us, was basically page four and page seven. Um, the map will be one of them. So, are we discussing this map? Yes. Level one right here first? Is that where we are? Correct. A lot of the stuff is just house cleaning. That's yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I think it is difficult for me as a commissioner to um, provide a comment on this change um, until we have the report from our consultant because the April 11, 2022 map changed the watershed boundary and we're, we've asked for an independent evaluation of that rezoning of the Graceland property. So... Correct, but we also are already made a statement that the commission did not agree with the changing the boundaries at the last at the last meeting, we said no more development, and the and the boundary change. So it, it what they're what Lewiston's saying by saying we're adopting the water water Auburn watershed is adopting the map that the city of Auburn does is conflicts with the original agreement for the city of Lewiston. So since so, I'm so dense, can you help me with that? What I'm looking at what I'm looking at here. Okay. Because accordingly, based on the, and you want to strike the, the evidence and, so it only was what we, accordingly based on the record before them and the foregoing findings, the Auburn Water District Trustees acting through the legal authority hereby adopt the following refinement amended, I guess, okay. amended bylaws for the protection of Lake Auburn. Looking at level one, page Four. Level one. Okay, on, up here on page four, right. start of it. Right, and it says to keep, to... and it says to keep the rest of that sentence. So where it says for the protection of Lake Auburn and Lake Auburn watershed restrictions and controls, there, this comment is saying to keep that in there and keep language and Lake Auburn watershed restrictions and controls. So everything you said plus the end. I have a question of whether the, the map, you know, because it's looking at being verified by a PE or registered lane surveyor, was it the map that redid the boundaries? I've never seen the map itself that showed the 
you know, the drainage going away from the watershed and all that. I remember Eric kind of presenting it way back when, but was that, that was stamped by a registered land surveyor at that? It was taken from a study which was stamped. I don't know if that figure was stamped. It was taken from an older, older study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I know we're kind of one of the things is if it's, it should be surveyed and stamped if the new boundary is being done. Right. Which could happen again somewhere. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm a little confused by your statement, Rick. I don't think we took a position regarding the property boundary, only that we wanted a moratorium placed on any, you know, um, development within that parcel until we had an eva independent evaluation of that part of the report. Please, forgive me if I'm wrong, this is my first meeting. We're sitting over there, yeah. we're sitting next to you, and yeah. it was brought up mm -hmm. that basically we said, no, let's not do that. anything, don't change anything, put everything on hold. Right. Everything. That's boundary lines, everything. We stick by what Auburn Watershed has said for the last 20 years. No new development, understanding where the boundary lines are as far as, Auburn, as, far as the watershed. Was was uh, was concerned. So that was my understanding. Would you like me to read the motion? I think it was for certainly. Yeah, please. So I just want to comment. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Um, Commissioner Dubey, seconded by Vice Chair La Chapelle, for law, the law pack to recommend to the City of Auburn and AWD that there be no new development beyond what would have been allowed in the Lake Auburn watershed up to 60 days ago, and that the the commission asked City of Auburn to postpone any development on property that was recently taken out of the watershed. For, and then there was a period of time, right? 90 days? No, it said um, no new development beyond what would have been allowed up to 60 days ago was uh -huh. the time period. Yeah. And that the commission asked City of Auburn to postpone any development on property that was recently taken out of the watershed. Okay. I thought we gave, I thought there was a Dan, Dan also had a, like a 90 day moratorium on that? They, I think it was discussed. Oh, wait a minute. We have another motion. Sorry. We made a lot of motions. <laughs> <laughs> on a motion, da -da -da, da -da -da. for the commission to recommend to the city of Auburn and AWD that there be no new development on the basis of any zoning ordinance changes made within the last 60 days for a period of 90 days. So that the commission That's may right. review pertinent studies and permitting data. There we go. Okay. So yes. there were two different motions, I guess. So if they're still yeah. asking us for our opinion, yeah. at this point we still don't have a report. Right. That I don't see how we can change. That's still staying with our opinion right. on changing the map right now. That's part of the argument with the city of Lewiston, and I'm trying not to wear a city council's hat or any of that. And I don't want to get involved with it. Right, right, uh, right. I'm, I'm if to... later on everything comes back, um, yes, we can move it. I'm all in favor of taking it out. Sure. I'm all yeah. in favor of, of moving forward and saying, okay, yeah. it doesn't belong in there. Yeah. But right now, yeah. if we're going to respond to it, right now the way we stand today, that's, I think we should reference then this that's in yeah. conflict with the original interlocal agreement with Lewiston. Yeah. And so I have no problem changing my mind in a month from now. That, that's fine. I think this is helpful. We need to have that language. This language, the motion. The you just read. So. Yeah, so maybe our comment refers to that the commission has made these motions, yeah. maybe both of these motions. Yeah. Yeah. And pending that results of that, but refer back to the motions, I guess. Yeah, as evidence of our supporting the fact that we have, we shouldn't be changing the map, referencing this April 11, 2022 map until, I mean, that's based on what was, as you said, Rick, what we presently have passed. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. You want to differ from this? Yeah. <laughs> Usually. 
I guess my comment back then would be, I don't understand why an organization is in the process of rewriting bylaws in the middle of what's going on currently. Because so, I guess I want to stop you right there because that is opening up another can of worms. I, I have to talk that started three years ago with, uh, okay. with Mayor Sylvester, the president of the Auburn Water District. No, I don't need the history. I'm just, just saying, I mean, if, if, I'm just saying, and as a commissioner sitting here, mm -hmm. my comment back would simply be that, that maybe that, that's something that, you know, you might want to be take comment. your breath yeah. until I, we at least figure out where the lines are and who wins the lawsuit. So maybe, maybe as a preamble to this, is a statement from the law pack saying that we would recommend that, or we suggest, or yeah, I mean, put everything on hold, or some kind of wording to that effect. Right, when it comes to these things, I mean, I don't think we should be making statements too awfully strongly, because it's up to me. It's up to that organization to do what they want. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just a matter of, you know, eh, it, it but makes it very difficult right they're now. They're asking I, us our input, yep. which and they're supposed to ask I, us I wouldn't have any problem, yeah. because of things going on. So for me, it's too confusing to come up with an opinion of what they should do with their bylaws. And we're getting ready to write it wrong. But we, the, I would agree with you 100% if we were not asked the question. If we went knocking on their doors and say, hey, I think we should do this with your bylaws. Oh. They, we're not doing that. Right. They're right. saying, they're presenting us with the bylaws and say, what do you think? And the reason, sorry to interrupt, the reason this commission is a stakeholder because this commission has the power to enforce those bylaws. The Water District has the power and ability to adopt the bylaws, mm -hmm. but the commission has the power and ability to enforce them. So if new bylaws are created and adopted, we need to make sure that we can enforce them. Right. Does AWD have the ability to enforce their own bylaws? Mm -hmm. They do as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, Actually, we're giving extra provisions for law pack. Again, I have my right. AWD hat on yeah, for for this organization to really refine the rules and regulations based on the policies that are created, the newer ones, especially upper watershed towns. Mm -hmm. Well, I just you know, for me, it's like I don't think many police departments get a chance to weigh in too heavily on what the state passes for laws and what they can enforce or not. They simply have to enforce it once. It out would there. be a shame for us not to respond. I agree. So, it, some kind of response. Mm -hmm. I think is a right, but I think to Glenn's point is one of the comments may be you shouldn't we not you should, that's the inappropriate right <laughs> yeah. language. Um, the comment may be we think this could be held up, you know, could be reconsidered later date, not at this time. I think that's what his comment is. Not that we shouldn't respond, but that as one of our comments, it should be a general statement that perhaps you wait on this a little longer. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I don't want to put words No, I mean, I mean it, it, for me, it's a matter of, you know, if, if, if AWD is attempting to write the rules around how, who gets to draw the map, while a map is being contested, it just makes it difficult. Correct. Because, honestly, if this would have been done, if AWD would have done this three years ago, mm -hmm. right. first yeah. Probably wouldn't have much of a and, problem. And, and at that point, this would have been on the move, and they could have moved to, done it any way they wanted to. But now, to try to move it so that they can do it, while people saying they can't, is, is much more difficult. But again, I mean, I, I will admit I have not had the time to really dig into every one of these. I read, I read through what was there, and I was like, mm. I mean, I could find some issues with a number of these, but... And we just got the stuff. Yeah. So it's not like staff or a lot of people have had a lot of time. So I did my wife drive home today. <laughs> That's right, so you could read the paper. <laughs> Pretty much. Back to my original point of order, I, I wholeheartedly want to accept this, but, you know, this is the City of Lewiston. Um, I don't want the City of Lewiston to use this forum um, other than thinking not for their own personal gain as a city, but for the protection of Lake Auburn. Mm -hmm. This is what this commission is tasked for. So reading off a, a checklist from, you know, Kevin Gagney and, and, and Mary Ann. And um, Sid. And me and Mike. And Mike. Yeah. Okay. This, this this is a combination, a compilation of yeah. all the I think, I think the issue is the latter head. Yeah, but I don't believe the Auburn Water District <laughs> trustees have like authorized Sid or yourself no, 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 to yeah. continue the discussion with the city of Lewiston, have they? I 
But there are stakeholders as well. So no, I know through the commission, I can I can understand that. But but Sid and Kevin are no longer clerks for this commission. Right, but it wasn't through the commission. It was as Lewison is a stakeholder. Auburn Water is a stakeholder. So on Auburn Water had letters. Auburn. It's. It wasn't representing the so water district. You're telling me that the superintendent for the Auburn Water District is working with the city of Lewiston? Not on that. No. He okay. The the so other comments that I emailed to the trustees. Yes. The, the memo. Short list. The yep, memo had, that. that was a staff. That staff. Right. That's not yep. representing the water district trustees. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's no, not that's... representing that staff looking right. at this. Sending emails together saying, here's my comments, here's yours, and there's the memo from all the comments. That's a staff so review. that was a separate right. document. Right. Yeah. It existed. Lewis so took just... this document and said, we're going to, right? I'm right. Gonna, right. Yeah, you took yeah. this document, Lewis then, and said, okay. Yeah. So can we bring that document back and discuss that amongst the commission? I mean, that, that would be fine with me. I mean. It's just a con. This and this. It's just a combination. Yeah. I mean, as long as the Lewis so isn't using I this think, forum I think no, to push their own agenda. I think, I think the all. point is, is that if you take Sid's document by itself, mm -hmm. then that's staff and Sid. Right. The minute you introduce this document that somebody from the city of Lewiston on letterhead signed by a, an official, it now makes it that they, they've combined those two documents. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Yeah. Sid Lewiston, put your own comments, whatever you want. Yeah. But don't. Sorry, was it I'm, not, I mean, I'm not offended by it. I'm I guess they're agreeing. Yeah. They're agreeing with pretty much everything that Kevin said, uh, Sid said. Exactly. And they just added a couple things. So right. if you would like to submit this and submit that, it's the same thing. I think City of Wilson. No, this, yeah. this will be Right, that's what I was going to say. This was just for yeah. a reference for us yeah. to go right. back today. Right. right. Yeah. So we are a stakeholder. So if you just reiterated all this instead of saying that, just reiterated everything there and that, then it's your own comment. And right, the, right, the right. other comment, yeah. not what, combining two. Yeah, and the other comment they had was on. Um, but we're actually looking for a third document now. Right, from right. 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 We always were. Right. Right. Okay. So that's ultimately. So that's why we're gotcha. talking. Do we, do we as law pack, accept this? Right. Accept this. Put it together. Put it on your letterhead. Put it on our letterhead. And With send a peer it. review comments. Um, well, we don't have that yet. We're not going to have it. Before the 15th, the yeah. we're not going to have that until, and we can comment on there. We are waiting for the peer review. We can put a comment yeah. like, what, you know. So I guess for me, it's like taking. So this is what came yeah. from AWD, right? right. No, yeah. no. no. Um, well, those are the from the Polar Committee. This is AWD. What's that? It is one. You did. It's, it's, it's a no, committee. No, no, no. What is he talking about? <laughs> no, no. The, the, the so Auburn Water. The Auburn. The Auburn Water District trustees formed a subcommittee, which Dan is on the subcommittee, so sub to review the bylaws. Revision. That document you just held up was that committee's revisions to the bylaws. Okay, yeah. there we go. So, yeah. Not the latest, though. Um, Jim Cross is currently working on the staff comments we got already. Well, I guess, my, I, guess oh. no, 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 I do have a comment. I think that it's inappropriate for AWD to continue working on their revisions while asking people with the deadline to respond to them about the thoughts right. we have about their, about their stuff. Correct. So you guys that's extend, been, your, and that's you extend your deadline. Yeah. That's a really yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, and that's yeah. probably going to happen. So put that as a recommendation yeah. for LawPEC. Yeah. Yeah. And, right. and that'd be the only thing I would say. Like, if, you're yeah. still, if you're still revising, we can't comment. Yeah, yeah I can't. I that's actually that's that's really that's an easy. That's it. See, now we can. I would still. That, I like that the best. Um, now it's one of the simple, it's house, there's a lot of housekeeping stuff in here. And we have for them just part. to review it and look at it. It's real basic. You go, oh yeah. Like, uh, yeah. should snowmobiles, the trails and all that stuff be in yeah. bylaws? It shouldn't be in bylaws. It should be. It was uh, in the original document, so we just expanded off yeah, of it. Yeah, but it should. It, no. Originally, it shouldn't have been an original bylaws. It should be a subsection. And say you can you can use it, which is it's just house cleaning stuff. Right. Nobody's okay. saying eliminate yeah. it. just shouldn't be in that bylaws yeah. section. Uh, so actually, I like that statement the best okay. right there. Can you then, repeat that? Um, sure. No. It's on film. Okay. Um, simply that if. AWD is continuing to revise the bylaws. We feel unable to make comments until we see the final revision. And ask us to comment on. Yeah, they already asked us to comment. What's and extend the deadline. Well, that's a recommendation. I'm not sure that's actually what's going on, though. Okay. 
and I hate to keep speaking out because I know I'm just the secretary, but correct me if I'm wrong, Dan, the POLA committee came up with those revisions, correct? Those were brought to the water district trustees. The water district trustees voted to send that to stakeholders and ask them for comments. At that point, the revisions have stopped. That's the official document that was sent to stakeholders. They had a meeting on June 4th. Dan obviously has taken in some comments. They've already started feeding those to Jim Pross, and he's putting those comments in to that revision. That's not something that's gone back to the Auburn Water District Board. That's to the POLA Committee. So the Water District is holding on to that document right there was the last official revision of the bylaws, or draft revision of the bylaws. Mm -hmm. So to say that the Water District is still revising those, that, no, their, their last vote was on send that to stakeholders. Right. And so as Secretary, do you believe that we'll be getting another one of these with other things to comment on again? I believe what's going to happen at the next Water District trustee meeting, if you get comments in by the 15th, there's going to be a draft given to the trustees with all the comments. So if you say we're not going to so comment until, happening? you know, then you'll have not submitted any comments by the 15th. You need to submit comments by the 15th on that. So that's on this document. document. Okay, can somebody tell us, point to me the places where the enforcement of this document would be highlighted that we would have to worry about since that's our role in this is what I'm hearing. Is our, our, real, well, our real part of this is to enforce the document they put forward, is that true? Correct. So. Can somebody point to me that the changes they're making that would impact our ability to, in, to enforce? They look at the current map defines the area in which we enforce. So the referencing of the map in this bylaws is important to our enforcement. I, 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 I didn't hear that our, our, our place to agree or disagree. Our place was, to, enfor was to, in, to enforce whatever they put in their bylaws. Right, but if, so but if, but if the map's incorrect. If we don't then, agree with, then we don't want to we, enforce. Right. Well, I, well, that's different than enforcing what somebody writes. Now we're having input into what gets written, which is a completely different conversation. Well, that's what they asked us for, to comment right. on, is their bylaws. We're commenting on their changes to their bylaws, which right. include this map change. For, for me, one of the comments that I gave, and it's in that memo, the difficult one for me was it opened up for incidental body contact with the water. To me, that's very difficult to enforce. That's like police saying incidental speeding is okay. If you're late for work, go ahead, do what you need to do. Can we get that? Incidental contact with body water is very hard because people will, you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. You say incidental contact is okay, well, incidentally, I went for a swim. You know, I had to because my fish was, was getting away or something happened. So to me, little things like that, little subtle changes, that makes it very difficult to enforce. You know, somebody who has to go out and stop somebody from touching the water, if it says, well, you can have some kind, well, how, how the heck do you do this? You know, you're not supposed to touch the water, so but you can't touch the water? Wait so, a minute. So currently, how often do we have to enforce that rule? Okay. On a regular basis. On a regular basis. Throughout it happens. the summer. And, and, and what is the, what happens? It's up to a $2,500 fine. They don't use and when's the last time anybody got fined? I don't think they've Last ever summer? used the ADK. Have they ever used the ADK? 80. The what? That's the ADK. enforcement action um, through the legislation. Action. There have been fines that have been doled out for swimming in the lake and for, you know, ice fishing and the other, other we're violations. We're actually giving the APD, based on your comments, we're actually giving the APD even more authority right. to look at someone and say, are you launching your, your boat or are you taking a leak right there? Boom, ticket. So the APD is going to be the enforcement branch of the rules and regulations that this commission is going to make based on our policy. So they do that for us already. They do um, patrols around the lake and watershed from oh, Memorial Day to Labor Day. And then if we observe either on the camera that we have at the boat launch or we get a report or we see somebody who's boating on the closed section of the lake or they're in an illegal watercraft, we've had people out there in floats. I mean, yeah, you name it. So we'll call PD, they come out, either we'll take them out on our boat or they can meet people at the boat launch. So that's how they- like, you have a boat? Mm -hmm. Well- yeah. Oh, this, yeah. is, this, this, this just got better. Yeah, I know. We're kind of it's, uh, that's what she does. She it's, 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 yeah. Yeah. it's our boat. It's, it's, a, it's a sampling boat. boat. Exactly. It's, yeah, it's to do We'll let you know. Yeah. She doesn't so, swim out there, Gwen. She can't. It's it's a a okay, so, wow. so because of time, yeah. Yeah. I guess we got a five o'clock hard, hard, Hard. Hard. No, you can stay longer. 
Okay. We'll do have the key. We'll do oh, that's right. He has the key. Okay. Um, I was trying to get out by phone. I know. I'm sorry. You, Maybe you, I should have kept that to myself. So, what is the feeling? Is I feel like the commission needs to respond to this, yeah. and we need to put something down. Yeah. Now, we can look at both and put them in. We can cut off the top, rip it off. Lewiston, which is Lewiston, is a, a compilation of both of them together. Well, and I, we get to me, like, I don't. This is not to be rude. No, I don't. Really I, I, care I don't care what another stakeholder said. I yeah. want to look at this, and then just look at it and see what changes I think we should make. Not okay. look at somebody else's stake, other stakeholders. Why yeah. would I? I want to say this, this is what we think, without any influence from anybody else. Which is what we should have came to with this meeting, but nobody had that really in a list or in right. We didn't have any so list. We roll around for three or four hours of discussion. Exactly. So, which is where we're at right now, right? And I so think if you want to do it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, one, 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 one of the things that one of the things <laughs> that uh, that Evan had, I know he sent it to Rick and I mm -hmm. to uh, to suggest how to run this meeting, was either you come together tonight and vote on the comments that you want to submit to the Auburn Water District by June fifteenth, or Potentially, you could ask, you don't know if you would get this, you could ask feedback from the POLA committee to wait until a subcommittee could be formed or this group could get together with the POLA committee and discuss the draft changes to come up with more comments. But you're basically, your request would be for more time for you to come together as a whole board because there's other members that aren't here, aren't able to look at this and add their comments. It would be a request for more time. But again, do they have to grant that? No. Um, that's a risk, you know. So I would recommend that you start the LAPEC comments, um, stakeholder comments, as we would first like to request an additional time, mm -hmm. an extra 30 days. Well, when's our next regular meeting? September. Yeah. So we might need a, you know, a July meeting. <laughs> no, because we well, we'll get a quorum then. Or no, oh, we'll that's quorum. Right, 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 exactly. Yeah. No, but that could be our first comment that I would be voting in favor of. Otherwise, um, then that would give us maybe we could um, just c continue to submit to our chairman individual concerns as a commission. Not, I think we can do that legally, right? Individually. And then mm -hmm. I think that we could, yes, I think, seven, we, eight, I think we could do well, then you have a dissemination of that, and then what? What's next step? Well, they just send it by the 15th. Well, that, then it so won't be, yeah, then it'll be his comment, my comment that go in, even though the group didn't agree with either one of us. Right. We don't get our comment on this just by showing up. If I just, there's a message from Evan to you, me, my, yes. about, so Evan said, um, I don't think commissioners should comment individually unless they want to comment simply as a member of the public. It's likely that commissioners will express conflicting views. Um, no. So he thought it might be better to have a subcommittee. Forming a subcommittee well, or... I mean, that makes sense, time. but I feel like well, not we're still just the risk that the water board district doesn't... When did we get this? I'm sorry. For us to have the time. I emailed it to you... Okay. It was after the last water district trustee meeting, so it would have been April 22nd, the day after I emailed it to you. April 22nd or May 22nd? May. 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 Okay, sorry. Right. I haven't had this since April. Correct. We, we, just, yeah. we just got it. I emailed I this May 20th. I, yeah. I like the May subcommittee 20th. idea because this is going to be part of an organization that's going to actually look at the POLA and then want to start revising the rules and regulations for LAWPEC. So if we start the subcommittee, you know, and we were in. I think Dan. I don't. I know he's not here, but have an attorney on it would be would be helpful. If we start that subcommittee, then that could roll into the committee that's going to be actually updating the rules and regulations because that's a lot of work. How, uh, for, following our, your following your your lead, if we respond to them and say we are all in favor of changing, we'd like to move forward, and thank you for talking to us. We would like to form a subcommittee. We just ask that you hold off a little, a little, just give us a little time so that we all can get on the same page and move forward together and and bring this thing forward. And that would be more of our comment from LAWPAC, mm -hmm. is to say, hold on, yes, we agree, let's get a subcommittee, let's look at it, and just like 
Auburn Water District had a subcommittee meeting. We're just getting this. Uh, I mean, I just, I'm just thinking how, how the trustees would interpret this, and they're like, well, we're talking about a document that is 31 years old and needs to be updated every five years, and we're three and a half years into the first update ever, and now we want to go four years? So they might be more inclined to listen to wholeheartedly comments by the 15th, approve the POLA in a meeting after or a meeting following that, and start the whole process over again for another five years. Because it's, I, don't, I just don't... So that comes to the difficult, I understand, but now we come back to the we don't have time, folks. Well, can't we spend ten minutes reading this and providing at least some major comments by the 15th? I think we can do it in 15 minutes. And still okay. ask, yes. the, uh, and still and ask, still for, ask more for more time right. to specifically address. I mean, otherwise we're not going to have anything to you by the 15th. So the only two things, I've looked at both SIDS and Lewiston. Well, I just want to read the document. Certainly. Okay, so let's you take five minutes, yet. ten minutes to read the document. Yeah, otherwise I Gwen's, you know, you okay. can't.
what the survey would define it. Is that something that we had done by a licensed lens surveyor at that time? Like that's how it's defined? That defines the intake? Oh, the intake, right. It's saying to the shoreline, to the to the roadway, to the kind of Oh, pines. does it say like, how many feet? Sorry, which page? Point of pines on four. So you're talking about the uh, level one description. Level one as area is. was, was that, level one area surveyed. Right. Well, was that defined? done by a licensed surveyor initially, or I don't believe so. I don't it think so. Like I think it was just like a line stone driven. Wall and then, yeah, you know, take it right at the pine tree. The drinking it seems water. Pretty loose, We've come a long it? way, it baby. It's pretty loose. GIS and maybe keeping it as it is is a good suggestion. Contouring and stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, but. I think the drinking water program has recommendations of area of influence, mm -hmm. and a line was drawn that covered that general area of where does our water come from and what's the influence. Mm -hmm. And to make it easy, they said, well, let's drive a line right across here. And that or they used a road for the line. Yeah. Call what's going on these yeah. roads, and they're different heights, and the road dips, and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's based on elevation, the watershed, so it's based on elevation. By elevation. Well, I'm talking about the line across the lake where it says. Oh, oh, just oh you mean from level talking, one to yeah. three? Oh, yeah. Right. Sorry, so I thought you level one extends beyond the shore of the lake. Yeah. Right, but I'm just talking about. I thought she was. She mentioned Point of Pine, so I thought she was talking Sorry. about across Sorry. the lake. Yeah. So why are letting people residents drive on Spring Road now? What do they Why would they want to? They were. It was part of a life estate to get the get the property. They are allowed to continue to use it until they no longer have ownership of that property. Which section is this? Page seven, small letter A, last paragraph on the page. It used to say continued closure of. I'm sorry, you say seeking closure of spring. Of all of the spring yeah. and, uh, so Spring Road is a public way up into the south gate. So it's a it's a public way. So there's um, houses and cottages through. So we got control of it sometime in the back, I think it. And that was continued closure of the spring road to all motorized vehicles except for snowmobiles and trailer and equipment, electric power, distance devices. 
and then with vehicular access available to residents only on the southern half of the road. Yeah, there's two, two cottages in there that they still go into until the passing of their kids, I think. And then once that occurs, that becomes property of the commission, and it'll be closed to everyone except for the other. No there'll be no residents, so therefore, right. there'll be mute. But there's also the um, abutters from well, West yeah, some, Road. Yeah, and they have they keys. They can go down and right. log it. They can use right. the gate to do their own logging and stuff. So they still have um, needed access from when they gave up public access when they discontinued it. So I think Pross addressed both of those, those two campers, plus like like Evan Sears is a perfect example. His property has the rights to go egress and uh, out of the southern gate. I don't know if you can go to the north gate or just the southern gate. I don't know how southern. that works. Just southern. Yeah. So he can access it because he's a resident? He has property that abuts the spring road. It's in, his, uh, in the deed. Or the agreement of the spring road to all available to residents. Why don't we just say that has a deed? Well, I mean, to available to residents only. So, no, we can't because well, it's deed it to residents, right? Deed it should be something like this. Yeah, I'm just saying it's like that. You might want to check that one. Yeah, yeah. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. No, I'm not a lawyer, don't play on the TV, but I've read a few of these. So is there any issue with them requiring somebody else to do something in their bylaws? Letter F is the Lake Arvin Watershed Commission shall install and maintain suitable signage to notify all people participating in recreational activities with applicable restrictions regulations. They're two So I'm not sure how they and their bylaws can tell us to make an agreement with us to do something that they want. Well, I just find it a little we're just trying to give them extra authority to do the rules and regulations. Well, I think I think the old language "suitable signs shall be posted right. and maintained" to advise people of the restrictions. For, I mean, if they want to put the twenty-five hundred dollars penalty and yeah. stuff in, that's fine. But I don't think they can, in their bylaws, tell them to. Unless they have the ability to, there's all of us in the be an agreement of both municipalities to get either one of them to agree on something right now. We're looking forward to that. Friday. They're going to meet in the middle of the bridge and shake hands. Awesome. And present the plaques. The time that comes, we'll be done. Good. Hopefully, nobody goes over the bridge. It's safe. We did do the drawings. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm trying right. to look up this map, the, the one Auburn, Maine, blah, 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 it seems to not just pop up under the city of Auburn. Oh, no, we make that website just difficult to I know, I'm going, it's just not popping up. It's the old one that's still on the site when I go to look at it. Is it the chamber breakfast tomorrow? Is it next tomorrow. Week? It is tomorrow. You want to be there? Right, right, it's boom, bye. I dropped out as a chamber member. It's a while ago. City is a member. City is a member, so I don't know. I'm going. Workforce. Maps, Stella. Archie. So let me know when everybody's finished and then we can move. I'll, I'll let me see if I can forward it to you. Okay. We just have a, uh, just got a link issue too. Um, I think it's being revised um, mm -hmm. with um, Ms. Mosier that's in charge of the GIS. What we want to do is we want to make sure we have our lake protection levels with the watershed boundary, you know, the updated. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the old watershed boundary and the new watershed boundary, there's all kinds of places where it's changed just a little bit, you know, based on the, the data that we're getting from uh, studies. But what we don't show is we don't show the protection levels with that when you go to the one GIS link. So we're working on that too. So that way you can see, you know, level one, level two, upper watershed, three and four. And then to see the watershed map and how that all plays into the rules and regulations and the pull up. Okay. I've got the link. Trying to email it to you right now. Excellent. So, do we as a body want to go through page by page and just make some comments? Okay. So, page one, anybody have a problem with page one? Moving on, page two. Any concerns on page two? Keep in mind you have comments, both Sid and whoever, if anybody wants to follow suit. Uh, second paragraph, I'm just re doing my own. Um, I think uh, I would delete as long as necessary from uh, the fourth sentence Correct. to secure and maintain an exception from the aforesaid filtration requirement. I think it's our duty as law pack to, uh, our mission is to maintain the uh, filtration waiver. And uh, the following I would sentence in order to delete, I would delete potential and unnecessary and just say to avoid costs to water customers. And if you want to continue to have substantial in there that's been crossed out, that would be fine. But I, um, potential and unnecessary, I think is deceiving what actually would happen if we lose the filtration waiver. Okay. So I'm gonna stop you right there yep. just so we can Kind of break it yeah, I was just doing that one paragraph. Yeah, excellent. Anybody have comments? Or, I agree with I you. I agree with that. Everyone. Exactly. So 
Okay. Right, you're right. Eliminate write this memo. as long as necessary. Remove potential. Keep substantial. And remove unnecessary. And remove unnecessary. No issues? Okay. Second, um, anybody, anybody has anything else on page two? Uh, very last sentence on page two, the, uh, it says maintain and then for as long as necessary. Once again, to be consistent, I would just strike that part. Agree? Okay. There we go. Page three. Are you, are you putting anything back there? You just if you just want to, you're striking one that's right. You're just saying maintain. Yeah. You leave maintain. Maintain. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I read slow. Oh, I. Page three. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, we're not really following the Robert's rules. We're just yes, no. There's no motion. Exactly. There's no motion. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Free will. That's right. Free will again. Um, I had a question about page three, the second paragraph. Mm -hmm. it, and this may be um, for Dan or uh, Mike. Does the Auburn Water District purview include land in the Lake Auburn watershed, or is it just the lake? As far as legislative authority? Yeah, just, yeah. Are you, so you, are you formed to address like the water, I mean, you're a water district. So but do you the also water regulate? and the land within the watershed. Correct. Okay. That's what I was, that was the question. We're on page three. Yeah. Page three. So in the middle there where it says now therefore, mm -hmm. I think record of evidence presented to them at the public hearings and in written submissions. I don't think we need the opinions and advice of other stuff. I think it should just say submissions and then the trustees of the water district. Eliminate all the blue that's in there. Yeah, it's just like, and this one said it, and this one said it, and this one said it. So it's, it's not like a written report or a public hearing. That's on page three, which? It's third paragraph down, third paragraph down. All the blue. What would keep the black? And just after written submissions, the trustees of the Auburn Water District hereby make the following findings. Right. anyone see a reason why? I mean, what if it's we could add reports, public hearings, reports, but that would be a written submission. Yeah, it seems like that covers most of what's in blue. Yeah. So is what I mean, I guess what I'm taking from what's in blue is that it's incumbent on them to go back and look at historical data, not just what somebody walks in the door and puts on the table. Yeah, I agree. That's what they're trying to get across. I'm not sure the way it works, but I think that's what they're trying to say. Because otherwise if they if they're not incumbent if they're not really charged to go look at what else has happened and been said and done in the past, then only what walks the door gets looked at. So we say in previous yeah. Uh, this is one of those times where it's like the language the, the language may may be more worded than I would make it. But uh, I don't think it takes anything away from what they're trying to do. I mean like, what's the negative then? Opinion and advice is pretty weak for bylaws, in my opinion. That Upon I would, I the record of evidence hearings. presented to them yeah. at the public hearings and in written submissions, the opinions and advice contained in decades of reports from environmental consultants. You got to read it to the sentence. It can't, it, it's not just saying yeah. take the opinions it's, of anybody that shows up. It's in other experts, other experts, and everything else. So it's like to me, it's like I don't have a problem with it because I get it. They're saying look at the history, look at the records, and take whatever you get. They're, right. they're trying to gather more material and force themselves to gather more material. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? So are we comfortable with that? Why not just say public hearings where it's submission? Why not just let them talk to them and say if it's not a problem? I, this is one of the times where like, I'm not going to go back and nitpick everything mm -hmm. they say. It's like, uh, I, can get, I can live with that and move on. That's my opinion. It's I think it's more precise than it does it have. It's adding to it, not taking away. Does anybody else feel like it's that's pertinent? It is pertinent information, but it's still a written submission. But, but if somebody doesn't write it down and take it, by the way, I read this is they need to go look. Record, you know, upon the record of evidence presented to them at the public hearing and in written submissions, the opinions and advice containing decades of reports are saying, go back and look. That's how I read it. I don't think there's any reason to take it out or change it or recommend changing it. 
had to be the legal way on it. it I think it's too wordy, but it's less less notes for our secretary or the board is doing it. The intent is good. Okay. Yes. So, um, any other questions on page three? Um, only because it's a thing of mine is the uh, next thing down. Lake Auburn is a great pond as defined by 30 MRSA subsection 40 dash B as amended or revised. Because basically, if that ever gets changed, then it becomes a, a non set. As a, and as amended. So add. And add the words and as amended. Any problems with that? So I'm going to leave. But I just wanted to make a comment just about, I think we need to reference, no, these will just be general, not specific. I'll trust you guys to go through that. About the map, of course, mm -hmm. that reference to that is an issue that we ask for, um, an op we provide these comments, but we do ask for the extension for our subcommittee to continue to review. Okay. Um, our two general, just general comments that I'm having, and then I'll stop. Um, I think we should keep on page four, which you're about to get to, the estimates with new estimates of the cost of the filtration plant. Um, and I, I agree with the comments that were provided by both Sid and Lewiston, but I think some of the conversation around this level one intake mm -hmm. and the map and that should be looked at by the commission, not mm -hmm. just with what comments work because I think the old language is, mm -hmm. as you said, yeah. that's all I'll say. Yeah. I'm not going to go through my other little comments. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you in September. Or, or next nice day when we go boat for a boat ride. Okay. That's right. When well, you leave, they're putting you on the subcommittee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, see you later. Bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, she said that update. I right. missed that. Thank you. And I think that I don't disagree, but I would say that in the end the permit or the department or whatever that shall every three years get a new estimate and publish it on their website or something. Because it's is out of date. Twenty minutes after you put it. Three years, five years, so figure number out here. So they wanted two million dollars for a shovel ready plan for full filtration for the community. That's just for the plants. This Auburn, says water district, Auburn Water District could be looking at ground wells that will provide water to them in their city for $800,000. So putting these numbers in here means really nothing. You know, who's going to spend $2 million to get an updated quote every three or four years? It's, we just know it's more expensive, especially more expensive for people that don't have ground wells. I think Sid got updated costs from a few consultants to present this information over the last couple of years at City Council um, without spending two million. Yeah, I think you can look at comparables. Yeah, you can look at you can Set request comparable. Ready. Right. Yeah. How much does it cost to get that? Well, I'm not sure what why. why I mean, I mean, honestly, if, 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 if we go that far, I'm gonna say that I agree with taking it out because it has no. Place yeah. in bylaws. <laughs> I, I, I agree. Yeah. 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 It's like this isn't bylaw material. Yeah. So page four, you're estimate. removing cost estimate. That's pretty much all the blue. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not all four. the blue. After Lake Auburn, period. Yeah. Right. Compliance from there 15 to the bottom of the to yeah. number five. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So next paragraph, paragraph five. No issue, well, after accordingly. Based on the evidence, I suggest remove evidence. I don't know where are you, what's left? Um, accordingly. accordingly. Under the next paragraph. Oh, down there, okay. Yeah. I, was, I was 12 on 5. Yep. Based on the, yeah. Well, just like curiosity. 
Why did you put evidence in there, Dan? Do you know? Versus leaving it as the record? That's in that same paragraph. Okay. Yeah, after accordingly. Number five. Number five. It's the next paragraph down, one, two, third paragraph. Court evidence and record before them. Based on the evidence and record. The question would be whose evidence? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not, that was an attorney thing. I wouldn't have suggested that. Okay, okay so sorry. Jason, so or <laughs> based, based on the record before, just a little bit of evidence. We'll, sure. Yeah. And maybe we can some record, that'll be our comment. I, I don't know. Yeah. So, but from us, based, you know, just from eliminate our comment, yeah. evidence. Yeah, from the eliminate record, right, yeah. Yeah. And now jumping down to number one after that, mm -hmm. level one. This starts Word law pack is agreeing with what Auburn Water District did when we already said you shouldn't do that yet. Until we hear back well, from I'm, what we're what we're saying is that we have, all we're saying here is do we agree with what the bylaw that they're trying to change is? No. This is this is what you take all the stuff that you know about what's going on in the world. And simply read mm -hmm. this and say, is this the way it should be? You, but you have to look at some of the stuff. I, I, I don't think so, for me. The example I'll give you is in, in, on the planning board of my hometown, somebody bought a bunch of land, they divided into 41 acre lots, and then they figured out that our subject knowledge said, you can't do that. So, as a planning board chair, when I sat down and looked at this and figured out what am I going to do about it? I had to really sit down and say, okay, if that didn't exist, and somebody came into the town and said, hey, we'd like to change the subdivision regulations to exempt 40 acre lots, would I or would I have not, on that day when I asked, without the knowledge of anything else, said, yeah, I think I agree with you that we should exempt those lots, and then move forward. The fact that there was a bunch of crap and the town office was all screwed up and everything else was going on, and it happened, wasn't anybody's fault, it just happened. So to me, it's like, what is the right thing to do, irregardless of anything that might be going on today? If, 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 we, if we went back two years and asked this question, how would we answer it in this room? That's how I think we should look at it. Well, that would be a problem two years ago. That would have been a problem two years oh, ago. Okay. It would have been a problem ten years ago. It's okay, a problem that, then that's fine. That's what you, that, how you feel. I'm just saying, we shouldn't talk about what's happening. We should talk no, about the but what I'm trying to say, I want to keep consistent with what Law Pack has said. I'm not trying to change any. I'm just staying consistent with what Law Pack said. And I, I would think consistent with what we've said that we should be referencing the map prior to April 11th, 2022, to be consistent with what we have said. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm fine with that. But my interpretation of this, and please correct me if you think it's different that at any time Auburn Water District can change that map and we're supposed to follow that map. It should be ad adopted by the so, commission and the water so Then because why Auburn did we Water hire Dist a consultant to review the Graceland property decision? That's one ex Correct, because we believe that the, at that... <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Okay. So that I okay. So what happens if they say we're going to take this whole big chunk over here, Auburn Water District? Say we're going to take this chunk right out of the district, and we're going to make the new map, and we're going to take that chunk out. So that's automatically, if they make that decision, we're saying we are following any changes that they make later on. We're following. We're going. We're abiding by that map. Should we so be no, asking, that's not right. Should we be well, asking them for adopting any changes in the in the watershed map? Because yeah, the watershed that, that's in. I think you could ask him for a stamp, an engineer right. stamp for any change. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, you you asking for that. I mean, I, I mean, we can put all kinds of qualifiers in it, but in general, they they're professionals. They are put there for a reason. They're like any other body. They have a certain amount of power, and I would hope that we would put people on that that 
wanted to pollute the lake and have us all die of bacterial infection. But I think that before a map change would be made, they would talk to the stakeholders involved and get input, not just change a map. So, okay, so, so we are a stakeholder, and because we own some of that land, that they could potentially change the map on it, that it shouldn't just be, okay, when they change the map, we're just following whatever they say. Okay, so if you're talking about allowing or, or requiring some public process, no problem. But the authority still rests with them to make a final decision, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Just because you get a picnic, I mean, all the input in the world is great. But, but, there's a, but somebody has to make a decision in the end. But as a law pack commissioner, yeah. I should get to weigh in. We're, we're correct. But I don't have to veto. We're just we, we actually can sue them for doing it. Anybody can sue anybody. That's not the point. Okay. The wording. So now, now becomes that difficult part that you're trying to say. That is coming back to the interlocal agreement also. You're changing boundary lines. We're talking about this document right here right now. It the ties into that. Yeah. It ties into that. So you're changing the boundary lines without talking to the players. And, and, you're again, well, and again, I'm, I'm all for putting all kinds of language in here about they got to talk to everybody in the world. But in the yeah. end, AWD is the, is the keeper of the, keeper of the is the person who's going to make the final decision on that, where that is. And I think that, I mean, first of all, I think if they would go carve out something that was just, in my opinion, I'm not using a bad word, but idiotic, the state will step in and take care of that problem. Because they have, a, they have a reason to be there as well. But I think that when we've got, I believe, a fair number of things that have been done to show that the current land has been taken out isn't in the watershed. Oh, you're, you're talking about something different now. So stick with... Yeah. So I'm going to use that same language back to you. Yeah. That's that's irrelevant. You're right. It is. That's relevant. But and I'm agreeing with it's irrelevant because I'm I'm not saying that I, I would agree from the evidence that I've seen at this point. I would agree that that not in. is not in. Right. I'm not arguing that. We're waiting to get the, the final. So if we're right now saying that we believe this, this should is be a public, watershed. This should be a public process. What you have here. This is the watershed. Great. Right. And. By this saying, they're saying, this is just the watershed, half of this, that's not that. No, I, I would not, if you're asking an opinion as a commissioner, as a commissioner, I'm saying this is the watershed. They're saying, well, you're going to follow this map now, it's only this is the watershed. I disagree with that. This is the whole watershed. Why? Well, because that's the watershed. How, how, that's, you, that's how the, are you defining the watershed? By a map somebody drew before. How are we a country? From but somebody who did something time. before. Right. Of course. But it can be changed. And somebody gets to change it. Not without the public input. And again, I've said three times now, I'm in favor of all the public input you want to put in here. But in the end, so we agree want to disagree. I don't agree with this wording here. And I'm <coughs> I don't agree with either. Either. Uh, first of all, I don't agree with either side of work. Okay. The old so the this this is it. I don't agree with just saying Auburn Water Auburn Water Department can just change the boundary maps at any time. I don't think that's what it says. But it's, it's not surprising that's in their bylaws, but it's what's in our bylaws. Yep. That, you know, that we'd say the commission has some say in it, but it's still their bylaws, not ours. But they're asking us okay. our opinion. Right. right. And this is... And at this point, we're not going on, well, somebody can take a vote, I guess, but we're not going to put any opinion in because we can't agree on it. Well, what about if there's something about adding a sentence in there saying that any watershed boundaries are verified and by a license fee or sure. RLS? Yeah, no problem. That's I a mean, great recommendation. You know, yeah. I think then that's. I, I don't think anybody's going to argue that. That's a piece that then gives, no matter what map I, I just want to prevent it's somebody. A qualified map. How many people on the water water district um, Sorry. Uh, authority? On the board? On the yeah. board. Seven. Tr trustees? Seven trustees, trustees, yes. Seven voting members. So I was just going to say, I don't want four people sitting in a room saying, hey, let's just carve this out and that's law. I think it should be bigger than that. And I don't disagree with you. So how do we how do we convey that message? Well, I, I mean, I think that, first of all, I wouldn't really scratch the entire thing and write something brand new that would address public input, a process, the requirements of whoever's going to be, you know, I don't know the exact term, but, you know, 
hydrogeological survey is three, 14 letters after their name, whatever, right. that's who has to sign off that this truly is not in the watershed. Because, I mean, in my mind, in all of, I've done for as long as I've been working with water, is the watershed isn't a debatable item. Water, water, water runs one way or the other, it doesn't run uphill. So as long as it's going that way, and the pond's over there, I'm good. Exactly. I agree with that's that. That's why you need an expert that's doing that sure. surveying and that line, but that's putting their PE or their RLS What on we're it. looking at right here is, I, that goes somewhere, but it doesn't go under the definition of level one. Right, yeah, and, and, and that's why I've been reading level, this whole thing, I'm trying to understand this whole level one yeah. thing. Level one should identify a, where it is. Yes. And it's within the, you know, in my it's mind, it's like, it's within the watershed, right. A, and B, give me some definitions on the ground. Because, you know, you know, right. the reason Marianne wants to change the old language, too, is because all I got to do is build a road between the shore and anything, and that becomes the boundary, because that's what it says. It's very good. It, 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 you know, the fact that it goes to Grace Lawn is only because that's where the road was. Mm -hmm. Had nothing to do with what direction the water was running. So therefore, you move. If I if I put a road on the other side of that pit, guess what? I didn't have to change anything. It automatically did because that's the difference you put in it. Well, they put in it. Not. Well, before they dug the pit out, if you went on Graceland Road and dumped out a five-gallon bucket of it water, the, lake. the water would run across the surface and go into the lake. But when you dug the pit out, right. the water goes into the ground, goes in, and it's proven that the groundwater moves away from. That's what we're going to find out. Right. You know, but, so I'm saying it's like you know, but literally the way this is written, I could have put a road between Grace Lawn even though it ran the wrong way. And it would not have been within this level one. Right? Because that's what it says. It doesn't say, where does it say Grace Lawn? It does, it's his road. I'm just using Grace Lawn as the... The shoreline of Lake Auburn Upland to the closest roadway and the surface of the lake encompassed by a line between point and Oh, lines. what's been stricken, you mean? Right, that's oh. what it was. So I could put a, a road anywhere on between no, Grace Lawn and not the not shoreline, no. and it became the boundary line, which is insane. Right, I agree with that. So I'm just saying that I think that neither one of these really work. Right. Okay, so our recommendation would be to break the whole thing. Try the thing, start from scratch, right. and have something that actually makes sense. And probably in a nicer way, though. Well, we can't. <laughs> so page four, paragraph Sorry, five, is a recommendation to reword level, the one. level one language. To better describe the level one intake restricted zone. Clarify how that applies to private lands versus law pack lands. Ask Peter Dingley to move his fire pit and his couch out on the shoreline. <laughs> See how that goes. Well, we don't do that now. I mean, there's people within level one that have private property, and we don't we mess with them too bad. We don't, we don't mess with them. I mean, other than, you know, don't trespass on our property or go in the lake. So we can know. wait another five years on that change. So no, I just I mean let's so, get yeah. the first five years done. Okay, so right. are, are we all comfortable yeah, with yeah, that yeah, recommendation? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Reward it. They, 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 we we believe that it should be rewarded, and if anything, it, it should include things like well, that, actually no, you're right. The public process should be somewhere else. Right. Okay. Right. That should be under any changes to anything. So, so let's keep that in mind. We can view that as a general comment. Yes. yes. To that. Okay. All significant changes should be at the to, public process. To the you know watershed boundaries and that. Uh, page five. Um, under level four, um, the Lake Auburn and Lake Auburn Watershed Protection Zone map on file with the Auburn Water District. It would be great to, I mean, is there any way to include the, these maps? As appendices to your bylaws, could yeah they could based on the date yeah of the approval and I think that's what we talked about at the last meeting was they're going to put the actual date specific that this is approved on that's going to be you know the, a copy of that map will be applied to the, the back of the document just like the Which old document. Which Rosemary Mosier is yeah. working on. Okay. But it still says the most current copy is going to be on file. Right, and the thing is you can actually put wording in here that the appendices shall be updated whenever they're updated anyway. Yeah. Okay. So of course the thing I'm most concerned about is level four. That's where I live. No. <laughs> the upper watershed. And they can change their map anytime they damn well please with that one. 
It says so right there. Everybody's fine with that? Well, I'm just saying. No, I, everybody's fine with I me screwing. I haven't spoken yet. <laughs> well, we're not. We haven't finished it. Yeah, I'm go ahead. No, no, I'm just. I'll let everybody speak to it. I mean, I just started. I'm like, wow. That should be the same for everybody. I think this opens it up more that you can change it easier. Yeah, yeah. I delete. Well, I'm just saying it just doesn't surprise people. Correct. Well, that's that's why. Well, actually, Kevin suggested deleting all the red part in there. Well, let's see what Sid had to say about that also. <laughs> so the proposed amendments get the um, stamped engineer, the engineer oh, stamp, back into that, just, just to just make, make sure someone's not... Yeah, the same language we have... Someone from Buckfield isn't trying to develop something out there? Any change to but you the realize map, there are a total the language eight parcels consistent throughout here. I know. Correct. <laughs> yes. Correct. I know when... Dan, correct me if I'm wrong. When you guys, when we, the water district trustees started this process on how to properly review the bylaws, and then two, if there was any changes to be made to the bylaws, Jim Pross put together a eight process. Page. It was a what'd you say, eight page, eight page process. Eight page process. These are the steps you should do to do what we're doing right now. We've and it included, it. and they've followed it right along, and they've been checking with Jim as they go. Mm -hmm. And part of that process is checking with stakeholders. Mm -hmm. You know, they're nearing the end of that eight-page thing. Mm -hmm. So again, why not reference that process? And you know, anywhere you talk about you know updating maps or changing bylaws or what, whatever, you know, there it is. We paid to create it. It's we we paid for it. It's we've got it. That's how they should make changes, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what they're following. Follow the process change policy. What's the policy within the? Bylaws? What was that memo called? I mean, that that was a. <clears throat> I just called it the eight-page memo. Uh, <laughs> Jim Pross. Bylaw update and review process. Well, we should probably have the data. Put my fingers on. I think that's in the bylaws folder. Yeah, that's the bylaws folder. So are we saying we want to remove the red, keep the red, or change, to me, you made the suggestion of changing that we keep the same standard. And then he mentioned this, this process, so I don't, I don't know. You'd want to look at the process before you said you'd support it. Yeah, but exactly. You, I mean, your comment could just be, you know, following an approved legal process. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I'm not trying to suggest things to you. I'm just, I'm, I shouldn't be talking, I guess. But I, I do think we, we, need, we need some standard <laughs> language. But we did pay to create that, and that's what they're following, you know, and, and that's a lawyer's. I've noticed in some of it should follow. The bylaws review process. Yeah. I would find it. I get what I want to take away. At the district for approval, just continue following the standard SOP. Approved legal process. Okay. Yes, approved legal process. And that, since we've already approved it, following. So just add that. Because the Water District trustees reviewed that process Jim Pross came up with, and they, they voted yeah. and approved it, and that's what they're following. Following the approved legal process. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else on page five? Just the same reference to the map would be the same one as the yes, map. Yeah. The map. Yeah, that needs to be. And that's clarifying, yeah, all that red. Yeah. Clarifying the, uh, the map. Yeah. <coughs> 
page six. Um, again, removing, I don't think snowmobiles and recreation stuff belongs in their bylaws. I think it should be a separate section or in the policy. It should be more of a policy, not the bylaws. What does belong is prohibiting all motorized vehicles. So this is why I think snowmobiles were initially put in there. So somehow, go ahead. I think one statement in here that allows them to create regulations around access and control for all the property Period. is all you need in the bylaws. Everything after that is what you do outside the bylaws to put those rules, regulations, and things in place. Same for Spring Street. Yeah, I mean all of that. Anything, that, that all these, a lot of these specific things that are really, those aren't bylaws. Those are mm -hmm. you just need you need that bylaws give you the power to do it, right? But you don't do it in the bylaws. Otherwise, you come back and change the bylaws every time you want to close off a park for a snowmobile. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but so I, I would say that my recommendation would be is yeah. in, mm -hmm. as a global comment. Mm -hmm. Any of the items that are specific rules and regulations, not around access and control, should be just referenced as a authority statement, and then do those outside of the document. That does not mean to control the water and the levels and the you know all that like we just went through. So that takes pretty much all of paragraph A. Yeah, pretty much. Right out of there. Yeah. And put it into a regulation. Regulation. Get rid of seaplanes, put aircraft. Well, why would we do that? No, I'm saying we would, would, would come out of here. Yeah, I would just keep, yeah. Yeah. both, yeah. right. Do you deal with that? Uh, both would come, come out, right? Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. yeah. well, we allowed aircraft, just not seaplanes? <laughs> there's balloons, there's drones. It's more defined. Okay. But if we're taking no. out the. You laugh, but comment. do you have you seen a ski plane land on Lake Auburn? That's an airplane. Yep. Is there a water quality concern? No. Erica? If it crashes through, yeah. yeah. That's a huge concern. Right. If they crash through? Yeah. I mean, if it if gets it sinks, submerged, like yeah. the boat sinking out there? What difference between the boat and you the water? The risk risk of, anyway. There's probably more aircraft fuel than there is six gallon cans on the boat. Yeah. So how, many, how many transoms boat going boats through were the lost ice. on the rocks and spilled all their oil in Lake Auburn? And how many seaplanes or land planes or ultralights? Why do you need to land on Lake Auburn? See, that's the purpose of the discussion, Eric, because it's a great pond. Yes, why don't we move forward? Moving on. Yeah, because I've got to go. I have a hard stop in seven minutes. Okay, so let's move to page seven. I also think D has to do with. Trails. Exactly. Should be, that should be again, should be somewhere more else. general statements of control Correct. access. Yeah. That's it. Move it yeah. out. Get rid of it. Correct. Yeah. Not disagreeing with the statement, it just shouldn't be in violence. Correct. Right. Um, anything else on seven? Page eight? Uh, well, so oh, 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 sorry, I jumped to the gun. First. He's got six minutes left, so I was just... No, I know. I don't know if I'll be late my next meeting. Um, I think it's too specific, personally. And were, by adding the 80K, which is like they're adding that, if the, if the Auburn Police Department are writing tickets, that's going through, a, not going through an 80K process. That's going to court and getting fined, right? 80K is what Eric Cousins can use to take somebody to, to, to district court for violations. So I'm not sure why. Uh, my question would be: Is that, are they sure ADK is the right reference here? That'd be all I'd say. Only, only to get up to twenty five hundred dollars. Otherwise, you're stuck with some little slap on the wrist. You know, in, in the local court. But have we have we used the ADK process in the past? I don't think we ever have. And how do we? And and we didn't have to go through the ADK mm -hmm. process. I think that was right. also a staff comment. What is Rule ADK? Yeah. yeah. And okay. you know, good. Good. you guys take care of them. Moving on. Yeah, what's yours? Mine was down in the, under, under A, under protection two. Uh, I, I was wondering why we're allowing electric bikes, and this is also a recreation thing, so maybe we should just get rid of that. Yeah, well. I'm worried about erosion, so. 
Right, because again, well, that whole spring road thing would be part of the regulation under yeah. access control. I know the committee had thought about that, and if they're limited to 22 miles per hour and they can't turn up the soil, and we already have mountain bikes approved for it. So we just have to ask the question, what is the water quality concern? And I think that would be something a law pick would have to come up with and say, hey, we're not going to allow, you know. Okay, so bikes. we can, yeah, that would be my only concern. Yeah, so pull it out and use it as right. right. a bikes on, anyway. It doesn't say dirt bikes anywhere, does it? No, it's prohibited. All motorized vehicles yeah. are prohibited right. except electric motors. So we'll right. even pull out motorized vehicles that are prohibited if that's what you guys want us to do. Period. <laughs> Access control. Prohibition of I agree that with the, the whole incidental and limited on page eight is crazy. There's no way you can afford it. What on page eight? The very top. There's no more than incidental and yeah, limited human. Yeah, you you, you yeah. can't. No. Either you can touch it or you can't. And then yeah. the law officer can allow something a little yeah. bit without giving them crap. But if you. I can argue about what limited and incidental is. Again, what's the water quality concern of an angler pulling the fish out and putting it back and shaking it so it can live? And, I, I mean, the and, are, we, and are we giving people tickets for that? Yeah, well, again, we've never given tickets for that, but if somebody goes swimming in the lake... Right. I understand that, but right. you know, what I'm saying is like... The law is no bodily contact. Right. I, and I, you're right, but fortunately the police department and the district attorney have you know, that prerogative to not enforce. Right. Whereas if you put this, you allow me... To argue with them about was it incidental or was it limited? Yeah, I, agree. I only hung my arm in the water for my entire boat ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I think yeah, just a comment. No, I agree with that. Comment. Agree with removing it. Remove it and keep without. And it gives the, now it gives the police the latitude. Yes. The guys, the person's being a real jerk, then you can write them up. If they're not, so just don't. Stop not, it. We're not. We're not doing anything. How many times have I put my foot in the water trying to put my boat out into the... Well, this is, I can't imagine everyone down here doesn't screw up by putting their boat in. A yeah. launch kayak? Yeah. Yeah. Are you allowed to launch a kayak? Down yeah. There? Yeah. yeah. Out, out of three four. Like I got to say. Tell a private landowner that. Oh, that yeah. they, can, they can't launch elsewhere? They launch their stuff. They launch their canoes, their kayaks. I was told I, I, I couldn't kayak out there. As long as you have a spray skirt, you can. Yeah, you have to have a spray skirt. So it prevents splashing on you from going back into the water. Yeah. The spray skirt just directs the water back into the lake. Right. We have to if be I don't, reasonable. If I don't have a spray skirt, it goes into the kayak. It doesn't go back so just out. Removing it I didn't make the wrong. I know. I'm just saying. It doesn't make sense to me. Again. But um, I got yelled at. What do you think of... Um, uh, so prohibition of all winter ice-based recreation activities except that it should be removed. Or, well, I'm asking, Dan, is there a reason you guys don't want all the winter stuff out there? Ice-based recreation activities except for the snowmobile, ice skating, ice boats, public events may be permitted. So what are you saying? No, just no ice fishing, I guess, right? What was there before? What do we allow now? Well, this is a whole new section other than right. the word and, which was there before. Again, if we're not going to address summer recreational modes, then why address the winter? But yeah. I, I'm thinking it's going to be in the best interest of LAWPEC and the recreating and environmental community that we address some of these things. So I if agree. we're going to, if we get this list of items for summer, spring and fall, then, you know, the Auburn Water District still has an authority over surface waters, but you can extend that to ice, because when the ice melts, Part of the surface water, right? Yeah. So, you know, we just thought we would address that. I agree. If we're addressing the rest of the, when it's liquid versus ice. I mean, there are days, <laughs> you know, I'm coming back from Lost Valley and I go across a section of water sitting on top of the ice. Right. You know, that's like an inch thick, but still that's surface water. Right. You know, that's like a boat right now. Yeah. You know, I should be out there barefoot, right? This isn't the So you doing anything with section C? But that should be in that'll be part of the other recreational policy. Correct. Not yeah. bylaws. So yes. Okay. But the question I have been now is, is if we're supposed to enforce the bylaws, right? Well, Are we enforcing also the regulations? The regulations. Is that our so 
So if you were to write, take these things out and put them in sort of a recreational regulations, you would specify that we're law pack is enforcing those. Is that has, the, has the power to enforce. Yeah, so if you look at law okay. PAC's existing regulations, yeah. now a subcommittee can take these based on the updated polar and can say, hey, this is what we want to do for the next five years. Okay. Bylaws and reg recreational regulations. Okay, so I'm happy to take them out. F, I would revert to... Same thing. Well, yeah. Well, F, yeah. F, That's basically, it's like they can't tell us. I don't think that it's appropriate for the way they worded this, that we shall maintain signage. That they could say, which signs up. That's so our job. That would keep E. So if you get rid of F, keep E. Yeah. Suitable signs shall be posted and maintained mm -hmm. to advise the public of these restrictions and the penalties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So get rid of F, keep E. Yeah. Page 9. I'm trying to go fast. I apologize. Uh, my, it's just my wife is going to be going. Okay, we're almost there. Nine's good. Here's your upper washing. Yeah. Well, good one. Page 10. on um, one of the comments um, halfway down, uh, actually page 10 in the red, mm -hmm. um, three and a half sentences up from the bottom, PFAS mm -hmm. and yes. other treatments, just add threats. and other, other treatments, threats. other threats, other threats, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the other threats. Treatments, yeah, just to keep that out by itself, there'll be many others. Sure. What was the word? And Just other in, in other threats. Okay. Yeah. I agree. It shouldn't be isolated to too fast. And the reason, again, is so we can... I'm not sure we had the power before, we, before you wrote that in. Right. So we're, we're making the policy, hopefully, and you guys are going to make sure that if that policy doesn't continue to loot or... Yeah. Okay. So, with all these changes, let's get an official vote down with the recommendations that we just had. That we send that as a response. To I actually got to go, so uh, we want a quorum. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am going to abstain just because. You know, I, I, I'm just so friggin' intermixed here. My head's going. So then, then, then you don't have, have a quorum to vote. Then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, then no, we have a quorum in the room. You don't have to have a quorum to vote. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's going to abstain, which counts as a vote. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, Sorry. And because I don't know Robert's rooms, I brought that up prior to them doing it. So, okay. yeah. so do we have a motion so to accept? Yeah. Glenn, is there a second? <laughs> second that. Mary, to accept the changes that we had as our recommendation to AWD. Yes. And hopefully get that to them before the fifteenth. So, I've taken notes of every all of these comments. Mm -hmm. I'll compile these into a memo from the Watershed Commission and send these to the Water District trustees. And Amy had said... Oh, we want to add, correct, we want to add um, those two general comments. Comments. Ask for an comment? extension. Yes, and ask for an extension. Yep. Correct. Now, SIP puts the agenda together on the 17th, which is a Friday. 
So as long as it's for, for, for the water district meeting on the 22nd, yeah. so so every trustee will see your comments, just worst case scenario, get in by the 17th. And then every trustee will actually get a copy of your If comments. you vote on it, I'll have it out by the end of this week. Yeah. Okay. So we have a motion in the second discussion. <clears throat> All those in favor? One, two, three, four. Opposed? Abstention? One. It passes. There we go. So just out of curiosity, I see on the agenda there was a uh, executive session from regarding possible action. Yes, can we please do that? Yes. That's what, that's what I can do. Uh, without objection, I would make a motion to take item 7D out of order. I, I say we just bypass, unless it's an emergency. Is there an emergency we have to do 7C? No? Okay, go. 7D. We're on 7D. Is there a motion? So there's a motion, motion and a second? Somebody, somebody needs to second, second, second my motion to take it out of order. Well, I just bypassed it. You just bypassed it. I, I didn't recognize your motion. There you go. There's no motion. I, uh, I move to go into executive session on 1 MRSA 4056 C. Glenn and Camille. Yes. Second. Second. All those in favor? Okay. We're in. You are out of executive session. We are out of executive session at 550. Um, I accept the motion for. I make a motion to authorize the, the watershed manager to um, act based on the conversation in executive session for the for acquiring a piece of property. Is there a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? All those in favor? Yeah. Sorry. Opposed? <laughs> People bugging me now. I'm unanimous. Since I'm late. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Adjourn. Neil and Glenn. Hoorah. Yep. Hey, just a quick comment Thank for you. staff. Um, Great job. Is there any chance we can get the 10 recommendations the city study has, just the part that mentions LAPEC, like itemized and maybe on a time?